Hi Carly, this is in bed. Um, now you mentioned that on your camera you use the second curtain to stop motion. I'm guessing you have front curtain synchronization on your shutter because here's what I think happened. Um, your pendant, first you flashed your strobe and you froze the motion, then your pendant swung up and, uh, and then back. But, and, you know, the reason you have a bit of a solid image here, because it swung up, hung a little bit, and came back. So your curtain opened, and your flash hit, and then it went this way and that. If it was rear curtain synchronization, I'm guessing that first you'd get the motion, pop the strobe, and then uh, you, you freeze your motion up here, and then it comes back. So I, I may be wrong in my assessment. I have to guess, because... Uh, I'm not exactly sure what uh, second curtain means on your camera. Uh, but anyway, that's what I'm guessing. This is not bad, though. You have a nice, solid pendant, and then you have motion. And within that quarter second, uh, you have the complete motion going up and then back. So, But I am guessing that it's front curtain. Here is, you know, here is an example of rear curtain synchronization. Um... The curtain or the shutter opens, you get the blur right here, and then the strobe pops just before the shutter closes. Here's the strobe freezing the runner. So maybe this will give you some idea of what happened in your picture. Um, now, I, lighting wise, here's where you might have applied some of your lighting principles. Look at the difference, difference between what you submitted and this. Look how much nicer this looks, how much nicer your pendant stands out from the background. So ideally it would have been nice to flag more light away from the background and concentrate more spectral light on the pendant. So this would have been the ideal kind of lighting. Um, so that pretty much covers it, Carly. You did a good job. It's not ideal, but you did a good job. Okay, so uh, I'll talk to you next time.